Hello everybody, this is Testing Day again, and don't worry, you don't have to listen to my voice for that much longer. There's only one episode after this. And, oh yes, one thing I didn't make exactly clear on Genome Shell. In one of the links in the description, they explain on how to get your own custom themes. You have to put them slash user slash share slash themes. Then you can enable that uh, extension and install your own custom themes. Rock on! So Genome Shell, far more customizable than Unity and everything itself. But then again, Unity is the one that goes all chameleon on us. So that's probably why Unity doesn't have that many custom themes, but it does have some decent amount of lenses for those who know how to look. Anyway, uh, you'll probably want uh, something more like this until s the others mature, or until they remove it, since they are planning on removing Genome Classic as soon as they figure out graphic card problems, which Fedora 17 is already scheduled to release with a Genome shell that does not require graphic acceleration, so if it's not gone by then, it will be gone by Fedora 18. But again, if you just want to wait around for them to mature, then hey, feel free. Both the gen Genome Shell and UDD have come at pretty bad times. Genome is changing. So, and the best part, you don't have to listen to my annoying voice this time. There's a complete guide right here. Link shall be in the description. And everything else is pretty much exactly the same. Well, almost. Things are not completely as they were. In fact, some refer this to this as a watered-down version. But hey, things still work. And that part, especially for Linux Ready, of working favorite top bar. Though I did show them how to do that in Genome Show, but anyway. Also, it has its own panel that does not move around, so that will also help Eric DP of the Ubuntu forums. And a lot of the other guys were complaining about customization easily in Ubuntu 11.10. Guys, you're not limited. You don't have to like go and install whole of the distribution. You can stick with Ubuntu. Which, by the way, for those who believe that Mint has more fans or whatever than Ubuntu, that's flat out fabrication. Link should be in the description to the actual facts. In fact, I think I can pull them up here. Yes. Dare to be different. Ubuntu's, Ubuntu's popularity is not declining. Like a domino effect of mis misinformation, blah blah blah. Apparently, it's according. It's because of DistroWatch, which is not an accurate accurate measurement of Linux distribution stuff. I'm randomly like scrolling down distribution popularity. I believe they go over some reliable sources. Uh, Facebook. You can see that Ubuntu has over 500,000 fans, whereas Linux Mint has 14,000. So if that doesn't clearly state which one's more popular, then too bad, you're just being stubborn. Yes, Ubuntu is still number one. And according to popularity poll, Unity is the most used interface. Okay, you only have to listen to my voice one more time, and that is tomorrow when I go about an experimental desktop environment. In fact, it's not recommended at all. But I will show you to you guys anyway, especially to anybody that is a programmer. Let's show these guys this is open source and we can do any bloody thing that we want, right? I'll see you tomorrow then.